Shana Tova, every beautiful and lovely person who so frequents this channel. And a happy year of rest, a wonderful Shemitah for you. I really pray that this is a good and sweet year. Rosh Hashanah, the head of the civil new year, has begun. And I think things are going to start getting very interesting. But the peace of the Lord is in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, and in our spirit. The peace that surpasses all human understanding that we will be with our Lord no matter what. He's coming, folks. This is so amazing. So happy Rosh Hashanah, everybody. I have just got through the majority of my crazy life, my Vita Loca, and just scrounging 16 to 18 hours a day, just nonstop trying to prepare for Shemitah. It took me probably seven months of scurrying, of scrounging, of scraping up every dollar, of selling jewelry so I could get everything I needed for my year and a half of going through basically without planting, without reaping, without sowing, without, you know, gathering in anything, everything that God has brought into my life, I will be utilizing through almost two years now, folks, it will be all the way until 2023. By the time I will actually start to be able to plant uh, food again. And that's if the rapture doesn't even happen. So folks, I hope you are preparing. I hope you are getting right with the Lord. Things are happening quickly. So now that I have time, I can start making more videos and it's going to get good. Because while we still have the light, we need to sprinkle our little salt and light our little lamps and tell everybody what is going on. Okay, so has anybody heard about the LED lights in many states? And this has been ongoing for the last probably six to eight months. Um, these LED lights are turning from their whitish normal light on the streets to purple. So there is a company called Duke Energy. And apparently... Last year sometime, a lot of the city workers in many different states, we're talking from Florida all the way into Michigan, um, states everywhere have changed these lights over to Duke Energy's uh, LED lighting in their cities to light their streets and towns and everything. And now all of a sudden there's this defect where thousands and thousands on light all across the United States are starting to turn purple. So at first when I was thinking about this and watching all of these videos and just news popping up from news sources like news channels um, in these states, I thought this was kind of weird. And I was like, okay, well, maybe it is just a defect. But you know what, folks? Now that I'm starting to really dwell on this a little bit and I'm thinking about the Luciferase um, and how the C19er can now be identified under black light as the antibodies do glow, which is really creepy too. And then here we have all of these LED streetlights um, turning purple, which incidentally, they could very well be black light. Um, the other problem I am having with this is there was, obviously, you guys know about the Olympics. Well, ahead of Tokyo's 2020 Paralympic Games, there was this campaign, so to speak, We the 15th took place, and iconic landmarks, 125 of them across the world, uh all joined in to light up their cities with, you guessed it, purple. And it all happened on August 19th 
um, of last year. So what's really weird is that the color purple is being used more and more frequently over the last few years. We see it pop up in Arizona, uh, where a lot of the city lights were changed to purple and, you know, giving awareness to domestic violence. And here we have it used in the Paralympics, um, you know, and now our city lights are just changing uh, to color and they're calling it a defect, quote unquote. But how come it's happening so often right now? And people actually, as I'm doing more research on this, people are actually liking the fact that these lights are all purple and they're quite okay with them being on purple. So it's getting kind of weird. I just wanted to throw that one out there so you can put this little tidbit of information in your little pocket um, because I think this is going to have some implications with being able to tell and identify who has been given um, the C19er uh, cure. <laughs> not cure folks. Uh, people have been so brainwashed about this. No, you call it a mark. You've been marked. And now we're seeing all this purple lights everywhere. People are getting uh, propagandized to liking this purple light. And now this black lighting is able to show who has been marked and who has not. Isn't this creepy? I mean, am I going way far out on a limb here thinking this? Is it too far-fetched after what we've seen in just the last year alone? I mean, we are watching them build concentration camps in Australia right now. I mean, they are, they're not hiding this whatsoever. Like, these people are gung-ho about putting the un va seed into these concentration camps and i have been watching videos of people who are in these camps already in australia and basically they're starving them not to death but they literally will go as slow as they can to bring their meals to them at a regular time so they'll prepare like a whole day's worth of meals and they'll bring it but they wait for far longer than they've given you meals to come back and bring you your next round of meals. And so it's just really creepy, folks, things that are happening in this world. And it is getting more and more mind-blowing. So here's some examples. I mean, just type in purple lights in every state of America. There's in Topeka, Kansas. The city is also responsible for the lights. Um, on Washburn Avenue and in Lane Street there. I mean, that was in March 5th of this year, 2021. Um, street lights across upstate New York, all turning purple um, in Winston and Salem, Milwaukee. It is just happening all over the place. And so in March, Duke Energy wanted to reassure everybody that they're going to replace all of these defective lights. And when you start digging a little deeper into all of this, you really start going back even up to, you know, 2017 and 2018, where like the Chicago skyline goes purple for pa pancreatic cancer. Um, and, you know, you're just getting more and more people doing these things over the last few years. And it was like just a few little incidences here and there. Now we've just got this overwhelming inundation of purple lights everywhere all throughout America. So folks, you in other countries um, that listen to this channel, if you are experiencing this in your cities, please clue us in. Um, put comments in the comment section about where you what country you are from, and where it's showing up in these cities. Having the Paralympics use these was a big one. I mean, people are getting indoctrinated right now with purple lights. So I think this is, and I'm on a big long stretch here, I think this is indoctrination so that when 
the mark actually is in full swing. Purple lights are going to be everywhere, and it's going to be the black lights, and you're going to be able to see your right hand glowing and your forehead glowing, and you will be marked if you take the mark of the beast. I think, I'm pretty sure, 99.8% sure that this is what is happening. I mean, there was even Dallas's skyline around August 19th, 2021. Um, the skyline went purple to support those with disabilities. And it, the purple lights were at Bank of America Plaza, Reunion Tower, and the Global Life Field. I've also seen articles for the UK uh, that purple lights were being used for support and awareness for pancreatic cancer. It's all for these, you know, benign causes. And let's bring the awareness in. Okay, conspiracy corner here. <laughs> um, all conspiracies have their theories until they're proven true. So conspiracies 90% of the time end up being true. And it just takes the deniers a long time to catch up because they're, you know, they're slow and they, you know, ignorant and they can't help it. You know, we should feel sorry for them. Then again, I'm going to throw this other one out there. Okay, now this one's kind of creepy. So in the Bible, in Revelation chapter 9, and when I was talking with the Lord about all this stuff, and he brought this back to my memory about Revelation chapter 9. Um, it talks about Revelation chapter 9, and let's talk about verse 7. Let's back up to verse 6. So, and in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. I believe that this is transgenics, this is transcendence, this is nanotechnology that people are injecting into themselves. Um, you can go back to the fact that Nimrod, there has been rumors and speculations that Nimrod was injected with fallen angel uh, DNA, which made him great in the eyes of men back in those days he was a uh, he began to be a mighty one in the earth and that was from genesis chapter 10 uh, verse 8 and he was a mighty hunter before the lord verse 9 so at this point in revelation chapter 9 and 6 i think that's what's going on here so verse 7, And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. Verse 9, And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. Check this out. Verse 10, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and they were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men for five months. So scorpions glow under black light. Um, that's anybody who has camped in the desert, like New Mexico and Arizona and stuff. You take a black light with you so you can see where the scorpions are if you're going to walk around at night. Or to check your sleeping bag before you get in and cuddle up to go to sleep. So let's have a hypothesis at this point and wonder if, okay, all the lights in America go out or in other countries, an EMP is, uh, is struck. But the power company is still able to get power to city lights. And they use the black lights to detect where these creatures are at. Because remember, back up in verse 6, And to them it was given that they should not kill them, those that have the seal of God in their foreheads from verse 4. And verse 5, that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was the torment of scorpion when he striketh a man. Okay, so this is really weird. Okay, so my hypothesis is out there. I've stated it for the record now. What if 
These purple lights are actually black lights and they're being installed for this time when the Lord brings this army of scorpion-like creatures to torment man for five months. And the only way to know where these creatures are at is to have black light, okay? I'm really going out on a limb here. It just seems to be too coincidental that for the last few years... You know, they've been making spectacles in major cities across the world using purple light. They're like training everybody to get used to these purple lights. And so now we're seeing them used on street lights coming from Duke Energy, um, who's too stupid to check their own lighting system before they sell them. And here, you know, they've got a million dollar fiasco and having to replace lights, thousands upon thousands of lights, folks. This is not just some weird mistake. It's just too convenient. It's too coincidental. And you all know me for, um, since I've been on YouTube, I just don't believe in coincidences anymore. Everything has an agenda, has a pre-planned flow of events and they're just getting the sheepel, the sheeple to really just get in line with all of this, that it's for your safety, that it's for this. When they've known that this stuff is going to happen before it happens and they're preparing for all this right now. Um, why do you think everybody's, you know, doing the great reset stuff right now? Everything is failing around the world. Um, air, airline traffic, it's all going away. People are not booking flights anymore. Everything is going downhill. Manufacturers can't produce any trucks anymore. People are selling their used vehicles that are only a few years old for more than a new one is worth. And, you know, automobiles are out the door Airplanes are out the door. It's all coming to a close. They've known this is going to happen. And so obviously they know that Yeshua is coming back and they're preparing for this right now. They're preparing. They have an agenda. They have a plan so that they can gather the nations together and form these 10 kings so that they can go out against Yeshua Hamashiach, when he returns to fight with him at the Battle of Armageddon in the Valley of Decision, the Valley of Megiddo. So is it really too much to say that they're preparing these black lights for more than just um, picturing who is veed and who is unveed? Maybe they're also going to use this for this you know, this king in the bottomless pit, Abaddon or Apollyon, however you want to call him. Um, he's the king over these creatures, these scorpions that get released on the earth by God. God allows this to happen. And that's why he goes and marks his own on the, their foreheads. Um, could you see that in the black light? I don't know. See, nobody has ever done this before. And I doubt when God marked people uh, back during Ezekiel's day, right before God came and plundered Israel. I really don't know if they would have had black lights back then, if you could have told, been able to see who was a part of God, because maybe that was fluorescent too. I don't know, folks. I'm just speculating a lot right there. But it's just getting a little too weird and coincidences are all kind of leading up. And so I just had to throw this out there. <laughs> this is just another craziness from the mind of Christine, Hummingbird 027. Uh, just, just to throw another weird wrench into the grinder. And to close out this part, I want to indicate that the beginning of Revelation chapter 9 is kind of interesting because it's when the fifth angel sounds and I see a star and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him it was given the key of the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. So it's going to be dark on the earth. And what comes out 
of that smoke are locusts, these scorpion-like creatures with stingers, and it's going to be dark on the earth. Okay, is this too far-fetched? Am I just crazy loony, crazy redheaded lady on uh, here on YouTube? I mean, it's just kind of all falling together for me right now, folks. Um, there's some dark days ahead right now. <laughs> um, not good things are happening, and folks, really get right with the Lord because there's coming a moment in time very, very soon where you're, if you don't make a choice to be for the Lord or against him, that choice is going to be made for you by default that you did not choose God. So you're going to be defaulted in with the others and you don't want to do that. Okay, you lazy Laodiceans out there, get your butt off of the fence. Start repenting and start cleaning yourself out. Clean out the inside of the cup, not just the outside of the cup. You have to clean on the inside. Ask the Lord to reveal those little dark spots inside of you, especially in your heart, so that he can expose them by showing his light on it. And then you can clean that out and root, uproot all of those all of those things that you don't want inside of your eternal body, obviously, because uh, we're in this for eternity, folks, either for good or for bad. And quite frankly, I think that this stuff that's going on in Revelation chapter 9 comes after uh, Revelation chapter 7 when there is the greater, the mid-trib rapture happens. So folks, I believe in a series of raptures. There's already been one uh, when Yeshua went to heaven and all of these dead people rose from the grave. That was of the first rapture, okay? You can find that in scripture. I'll let you even look for the scriptures. But he led a train of people up to heaven. That was the first part of the Harpazo. There's going to be the next part. There's going to be the bride and her entourage, Psalms 45. Then there is going to be the mid-trib rapture. And at that point, it closes. The door to heaven closes. And... There's going to be so many people saved during the first three and a half years because people are going to finally wake up. They're going to get it and they're going to come on board and say, OK, this is for real. This is happening. All these crazy people, crazy redheaded hummingbirds out there who have like shot off their mouth about all this stuff. It's actually happening. And I need to get right with the Lord because I want to live and I want to live with God forever and ever. So Psalms 67 verse 1, God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah, that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth, Selah. Let the people praise thee, O Lord. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. That word fear is reverence him, reverence of the highest order. I hope this message has blessed you. It's kind of a crazy one. Leave your comments below. I'm interested in more talk about this. Yahweh bless you all and Maranatha, he's coming.